I warn you, Jamaica with nothing. I live in a wooden shed, zinc roof. It doesn't matter from the trenches. I'm built like this. I go to the to, to the battle's done. That's it. I've been dying the whole night now. Look at me now. Look at me now. It's been a long, long four for four years. The all doubt to me is I couldn't do it. The all said I couldn't do it. Look at me now. number one pound for pound guy in the world this and he headshot kicked him i mean that shit was mad it was the greatest come from behind head kick knockout ever it was over it was Uzman over. was dominating the last the, i watched it again today i watched it in the gym today working out it's like, fuck it's crazy and we always knew leon ever was really technical and really good to go five rounds was getting grappled and to be able to pull that off smooth still was so fucking impressive Some of the things he does, the way he times it, is like on point, it's like an instinct. He's good, bro. He's really good. I've, I've trained with Leon. I know how good Leon is. Leon's a phenomenal athlete. Um, he's amazing in every single aspect of the game. His, on, his wrestling and his jiu-jitsu is so underrated. You can't take this guy lightly as the fight goes on. He's dangerous every step of the way. When you think he was gonna lose the fight, and he throws that two head kick, man, out of nowhere, puts him to sleep, that affects everybody in the division. Everybody's got to watch out for that now. Yeah, Leon's a tough dude. The thing, the reason he's a tough guy is because, is because even when I break his spirit, I break his will, he doesn't stay on ease. He'll come back, even though I remind him very quickly to go back down, but he, he always comes back. That is very fucking dangerous when guys fight like that. I just see it. I just see it.